start the principles laid down in the said decision cannot have any application in the present case although the decision rendered in this case in the decision under the arbitration and conciliation act 1996 taking into consideration the arguments of the appellant it is necessary to mention here that the court does not have any power to extend the time under the act unlike section 28 of the 1940 act which had such a provision the court has therefore been denuded of the power to enlarge time for making and publishing an award it is true that apparently there is no provision under the act for the court to fix a time limit for the conclusion of an arbitration proceeding but the court can opt to do so in the exercise of its inherent power on the application of either party where however the arbitration agreement provide the procedure for enlargement of time and the parties have taken recourse to it and consented to the enlargement of time by the arbitrator the court cannot exercise its inherent power in extending the time fixed by the parties in the absence of the consent of either of them the counsel for the appellant further contended that the high court could not have terminated the mandate of the arbitrator with reference to the contention made by the appellant that the arbitrator having concluded the proceedings could not be said to have failed to act so as to attract the provision of section 14 of the act which will call for termination of the arbitration proceedings it is pertinent to mention here that the arbitrator had not concluded the proceedings as had been agreed to by the parties within the time fixed for doing so it is an established statement that the said mandate of the arbitrator was terminated only because of the fact that the arbitrator having failed to conclude his proceedings within time did not warrant to be continued as an arbitrator in the absence of the consent of both the parties it is clear that the arbitrator had extended the time provided to it without any concrete reasons whatsoever and thus his mandate was liable to be terminated subsection 1b further states that the mandate of an arbitrator shall also stand to be terminated if he withdraws or the parties agree to the termination from the perusal of the records and the submissions of the parties we observe that the mandate of the arbitrator was extended by an agreement between the parties thus it can be construed that the parties had not agreed to the extension of the 
मैंडेट ऑफ द आर्बिट्रेटर फेलिंग विच द मैंडेट वॉज ऑटोमेटिकली टर्मिनेटेड हाउ एवर द कंटेंशन ऑफ द अपीलांट दैट द हाई कोर्ट हैड एयर्ड इन नॉट अलाउइंग द अपीलांट टू डिसाइड अपॉन द अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ एन आर्बिट्रेटर परसुएंट टू सब सेक्शन टू ऑफ सेक्शन फिफ्टीन ऑफ द एक्ट मस्ट बी एक्सेप्टेड स्टॉप